Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video, I am going to talk about how you can code the advanced strategies of the stock mock platform in the Quantify itself, right? So there are a lot of strategies that you can create, for example, re-entry, re-execute, uh, closest premium ranges and multiple re-entries and all. So you need to code or you need to execute the same strategies at in some platform. So basically, I use Quantify for all my trading, the deployed capital around is 80 lakh rupees and it is going to soon hit around 1 crore uh, as i am onboarding one few clients now in this case uh, there is there are a lot of things that you have to remember before you start trading the strategies of stock mock in quantiply now let's say that let us uh, check one strategy where i am uh, re using re-entry feature right so the feature is like i am shorting 120 rupees call lesser than 120 rupees call Hundred and um, lesser than 120 rupees put here. The re entries are one, and basically, I've also put a total M2M of 4000 rupees. So, how do we code the same exact strategy in stock market uh, in Quantiply? Basically, is firstly, you have to go and create a strategy. If you have not uh, signed up in Quantiply, you can use the link in the description below and you can get a 10% off if you have used the same link for uh, stock mock as well. Right, right so use the same mobile number and you can get an additional 10 percent discount so let's go to plus sign here this is how you can create an algo now let us my, uh, write our name uh, s1 11 am re-entry let's assume that now here in this case what i am trying is i am shorting call shorting a put here now as you know, we are using a closest premium here. I have to change this setting from legs to premium lesser than. So always remember that you have to change the settings to lesser than here. And I will change it to 120 here. Then once I have done 120 lesser than 120, I can change the number of lots from 2 to 3 or whatever the number of lots the are. I can change the number of lots here directly. This is for using the targets and this is for using the stop losses. Now, generally, we do not uh, put targets for our options. But in case if you put targets like target percentage on in case of expiry, we can put a target percentage as 97% and stop losses. So there are a lot of uh, variations of stop losses. There is stop loss percentage and there is stop loss points. There is stop loss underlying percentage and stop loss underlying points. So basically underlying here means that we are if we want to use stop loss based upon the points of bank nifty then we can use the underline if we want to use the uh, stop loss in case of option price then we are going to use the stop loss here so here i have put a stop loss percentages of 20 percent so i will put stop loss percentage as 20 here as 20. now in a uh, stock mock we cannot add trailing sl if we use re-entry so we are not going to add trailing stop losses but in case if you want to add trailing stop losses you can use this method where this is the option of trailing stop loss the yellow button then i can put a stop loss like let's assume 10 percent 10 percent and 10 percent 10 percent Okay, so once I have put a 10%, 10% SL, so this is going to trail my stop losses as, as uh, the option price moves into my direction. But currently we are not having trailing stop loss, so I would remove it. But this is how you can put the trailing stop loss. Now, if, if our strategy basically has move SL to cost, then I will select this option. If it does not have move, move SL to cost, then I would ignore it. Now, again, if I have a strategy where uh, I get a wait and trade, uh, for example, a directional strategy where I am waiting for the option price to increase or decrease by certain percentage or premiums, then I am going to use the wait and trade feature. But we do not have wait and trade, so I would ignore that. Now, the important feature comes here where I am using a re entry. So, once I click on re entry, here I get re entry type like re cost, re execute, re cost reverse, and re execute reverse. Now, currently, stock, stock mock has re cost and re execute, and we are going to use those uh, options only now in stock mock there is an option of re-entry and re-execute so the same feature in quantiply is named as re-cost so re-entry is named as re-cost here and i am going to use one year and i'm going to re-cost okay so this is important that re-entry is re-cost and re-execute is re-execute as well as it is 
Now my entry time is let's say 11 a.m. and exit is 15:25. Okay. So currently, if I am having a M2M in total amount, then I would put the M2M in total amount as 4,000. Or if I have an M2M in percentage, then I can put M2M percentage as like 30% of the total premium. But currently in our uh, uh, strategy that I have put is 4000. So I would put 4000 here. Now I can use the feature of lock and trail as well here in the M2M stop loss. Now what does the feature of uh, lock and trail basically uh, mean? So lock and trail is used for protecting the profits. For example, if you are in a profit of 4000 rupees now and you do not want to book a loss after that. So basically, what do we do? We uh, try to ship the stop losses uh, at let's say break even price or even we can protect the profits by moving stop losses by certain uh, uh, points into our favor. Right now, let's say that here I have written or here I have coded key 4000 if profit reaches 4000 then lock minimum profit at 0 rupees then for every 1000 rupees profit my profit would be trailed by 1000 rupees so what does that mean so let's say that my profit touches 4000 rupees now after my profit touches 4000 um, let's say that bank only put were shorted here and bank nifty was moving up like this so i would be getting uh, getting a profit here now suddenly there is a reversal in the markets and market start to starts to fall so our profits would reduce now, in this case, I don't want to book a loss after I have made a 4,000 rupees profit, right? Uh, in, in this particular strategy, let's assume that. Okay. So, the logic here is I want to protect the profit and at least I don't want to book a loss here. I would be exiting at zero. So, if I have configured like this, 4,000 done a situation, if I would have done like this, a 4,000 and 1,000 like this, then in a reversal, as soon as my MTM, if, would, if it would have hit it, uh, if it would have hit uh, 1000 then i would have exited the strategy would have exited so here i am uh, here we are doing 4000 zero 1000 thousand so for every 1000 rupees profit additional profit my stop losses would be shifted by 1000 rupees okay so i am doing a lock and trail profit here and in amount here okay so here particularly uh, you have to select total amount 4000 1000 uh, or zero whatever the strategy that you have designed accordingly and then for every thousand rupees profit i am trailing my stop loss by thousand rupees okay uh, we do not have a m2m re-entry we do not have a, any kind of uh we do not we do not have to change any settings here also we do not have any kind of m2m target all here then we do not have to move or change anything here uh advanced settings in this is a very important part for advanced settings now, if you are using, if you are uh, doing option selling, then you can basically enter at market orders. That is not an issue. But to be safe, you can also use a limit order for, uh, you can also use a limit order for entering into option selling as well as option buying. Particularly, I prefer a five point difference in the trigger price and the limit price. And it has been working great for me. You can experiment with any amount or any number that you want. You can use percentage or point. Personally, I prefer points as a difference so that the limit because in case of a 400 rupees premium, a 3% would be 12 point. But in case of a 100 rupee premium, a 3% would be 103 point, right? So uh, the percentage would, the points would keep on changing, but I want to fix that. And, in, uh, and due to that, I am using a point uh, trigger and limit difference. An exit should always be in case of limit orders only. You should never exit any kind of option uh, in algo trading without any kind of limit order. So I personally prefer five point as well here in case of uh, exit as well as entry order types. Now there is no entry order delay and there is no exit order delay. Calculate entry from average entry price. Basically what I can uh, do is I have to calculate entry from average entry price and not from LTP. Calculate exit from average exit price only and not from entry uh, LTP. The trailing frequency level that you can use if you are using uh, if you are using lock and trail, if you are using trailing stop losses, then in that case you should be using one minute as a trailing frequency because in stock mock, if you want to match the data of stock mock, you can use uh, stock mock generally has one minute data, right? OHLC data. So in that case, uh, 
your stop loss would be matching uh, or your trailing stop loss would be matching more with a frequency of one minute trailing and re-entry should always be on candle close. This is a very important thing that you have to remember that re-entry has to be on candle close only. If you use re-entry on LTP then basically it is going to enter within the second and you will be, be getting a lot of slippages. So you have to remember that re-entry re has to be on candle close otherwise you would be getting a lot of slippages. So this is one of the strategies that we have designed. Let's uh, let's just uh, save the settings and uh, you can duplicate the strategies on all days here. Okay, so if you want to run this strategy on all days, then you can basically duplicate this on all days. You can select the broker that you want. So let's say that I want to run this in angel broking uh, this account basically. So I would select that and select that and duplicate it here, right? So currently, I am not uh, saving this and now we can we will create one more strategy with a different conditions here. Okay, so let's assume that here I am using a feature of re-execute. Okay, so one of my strategies I, that I use, I use a feature of re-execute. So in this case, I'm shorting 100 rupees call plus, uh, I mean, ATM plus 100 and ATM minus 100. So I would name one PM uh, example. I am selling the strategies, change the call and put here. This is call and this is put ATM plus 100. So I can select it. A ATM plus 100 is OTM here. Okay. So here ATM plus 100 means OTM. So OTM 1, OTM 1. Right, number of lots I can change it to 3 here. Now, in this case, I am using a re execute feature. Okay, so this is a very important thing. Re execute is re execute. First of all, I have to stop, I have to add a stop loss here. So, stop loss percentage that I have to add is 30% here. And there is no trailing stop losses. So, here I have to select re-execute and number of times that I want to re-execute is one. So I'm doing it one. Okay. There is no target, but you can keep underlying targets like let's say 95% or so because this is only, this will only be valid on Thursdays. Other days you are not going to get a 95% target in case of option selling, but you can definitely get 95% targets or 100% targets in case of option buying. So there is, you have to uh, remember that in case of option selling, this does not matter much uh, unless and until it is Thursday. But in case of option buying, this would be, this would directly close your position if if you buy an option at 100 and it is it touches 90, 195 basically. So uh, here I am moving SL to cost. So I would be selecting moving SL to cost here. There is a re-entry. Okay, I deselected that and re-execute one time. Re-execute one time. So this is a very important uh, setting that you have to remember. M2M stop loss here I have put in terms of amount only. You, you have you can change the M2M amount to 4500 here. Lock and trail profit. What what is the setting that I have done? Let us just check it out. 4000 1000 basically here. 4000 1000 and 1000 500. Okay, now there is no M2M -M re-entry. I have to change this setting to candle close. Entry type, limit orders, points. You can use 5. Exit order type, limit. You can use points, 5 points. There is no delay. And that is how you can save the strategies that you can create from the stock mock into the quantiply. I can assure you that it works really fine for me and I have the total that capital that I've deployed is around 65, uh, sorry, the total capital deployed is around 80 lakh rupees for options or uh, for option buying details. You can definitely watch a video that I've already created for option buying here. And uh, uh, I've created a whole series of algo trading basically which you can start for which you can start watching from these all five videos like this is how to start algo trading opening range breakout strategy you can watch this option buying strategy details for uh, uh, for more value and you can use 
you can watch this video as well for understanding how to uh, or what are the things seven things that you need to know before you start algo trading so if you like the video do share it with your friends like and subscribe to the channel and if we hit around 1500 views on this video i would be coming up with a video that would help you to reduce your slippages basically so how you can uh, reduce your slippages and how you should how your backtested data or how your real time data would would be matching with backtested data basically that we would be talking about that only now we started with the option buying strategy that i have shared here this strategy that has given around 33% returns till now in a matter of uh, 3 weeks or so and this is the equity curve of option buying strategy basically we had hit a 20% drawdown and then we made a profit as well and the october month has been a profit of around 16000 rupees the minimum capital that is required to start option buying strategies is 150000 basically and including drawdown 2x of historical drawdown and if you want to more know more details you can watch this video as well i am going to share it in the i button right thank you have a great day